to learn more on the weapons involved, let's bring in our crime and justice correspondent, Joe Johns. Uh, Joe, there's some pretty sophisticated weapons. What do we know? That's for sure, Wolf. From a law enforcement standpoint, it's not just the fact that the suspect in the Southern California shootings is trained in law enforcement or that he was also in the military, though. Both of these elements do play a part. What's also scary is the firepower he claims to have at his disposal. In his manifesto, Christopher Dorner sent to news organizations, he says he has a Barrett 50 caliber rifle. So take a look at it. It's probably something like this. It's a larger rifle that has a bigger kick. Some say uh, it's a sniper rifle, and it can put a round on a target from a mile away. Those rounds are huge. Just to give you a, a sense of how big the rounds are, let's take a look right now, if I can move this down. Here you go. Just an idea comparing it to some of the rounds from uh, revolvers, for example, a 357 Magnum or a 45 Long Colt. It's a pretty big round. And now let's take a look at how it compares to a $5 bill. So that gives you at least some sense about what we're talking about. It's uh, well known that 50 calibers are good anti-vehicle guns because you can shoot straight through a vehicle's engine block. In fact, LAPD pointed out at one of his news conferences that one of the encounters this morning, Dorner allegedly disabled a vehicle at the scene, which would make sense if this was the type of rifle that was used in the shooting. Former ATF official Mike Bouchard told us just how much damage this weapon could do. You can disable cars if a SWAT team was coming with uh, heavy armament. Uh, there's a good possibility that it could penetrate that. It'll penetrate ballistic vests, ballistic shields, any of those kinds of things. It turns out Barrett's, and particularly the 50 caliber, is also in the middle of the national gun debate. The state of California banned 50 caliber rifles and got an angry response from the owner of the Barrett Firearm Manufacturing Company, which stopped selling Barrett firearms in California over the issue. So the upshot here is that Barrett 50 caliber rifles are illegal in the state of California. Apparently not even the police can have them, but Dorner claims he might even have more than one. The other weapon mentioned in the manifesto is this thing. It's a little scary, too. The SA-7 Man Pad, a Russian-made shoulder-mounted surface-to-air missile launcher. It is illegal in the United States. In fact, the State Department says on its website, anyone with knowledge of an illicit man pad should immediately contact the FBI. So uh, some pretty scary weapons there, quite frankly. If that's what he says he has, Wolf, all we know, he says in his manifesto that he has these Yeah, weapons. it's very scary, and there are already dead people out there. Uh, Joe, thanks very much for that report.